With a whopping great 5,455 total items in Terraria, it's only natural that some can be very easily lost in the mix, especially after the 1.4.4 update that introduced a plethora of niche quality of life additions. Today, we're going to be looking at five of the most obscure and wonderful Terraria items that you may not know about. Before we jump into it though, did you know that we're actually approaching the big 150k milestone? So if you enjoy these kinds of vids, why not come part of the club and help support the channel? Alright then, let us begin. First up, we have something I didn't even know was a thing until very recently. Yes, the rainbow string. To be honest, as someone who doesn't frequent the yo-yo class, it was no surprise that this item skipped my mind. However, the rainbow die used to craft it is in my opinion equally as obscure, requiring an absolute truckload of dyes to craft. Once you've got your lime, yellow, orange, teal, cyan, sky blue, pink, violet and purple dye, you can craft them into the gradient variants that are dive at to then finally get your elusive rainbow dye. With this you can either make a more intense version, which looks majestic by the way, or your rainbow yo-yo string, which when equipped looks absolutely awesome and will rotate in colour similar to the rainbow cursor. Next up we have something I thought everyone knew about, but as it turns out is extremely niche. The Spelunker Flares. These basically work by emitting a radius of treasure visibility when fired. Now, while they may not give quite as much info as actual Spelunker potions, they can still be useful for finding life crystals and chests in early hard mode. And the best part is, they're actually dead easy to obtain, being sold by your skeleton merchant either at night or during a full moon, or if they're not available, being crafted with Spelunker glow sticks and regular flares at an anvil. And while we're on the topic of flares, it seems only fair to mention the other variants introduced in 1.4.4 that you may not know about, such as rainbow flares that look awesome, shimmer flares that look pink, and cursed flares that are, well, a complete waste of cursed flames. Next up we have something so obscure, I'm not even sure Relogic remember adding it. The Shadow Candle. Very simply, this is a candle variant that nullifies the peaceful benefits of towns, allowing any enemies to spawn as normal. I suppose this does have its uses if you, for instance, want to farm an item in a biome occupied by town folks, but other than that, I just don't know. As expected, in only a matter of minutes, half my town was wiped out by all the enemies. And what I think further buries this item in obscurity is its crafting recipe, requiring you to place a workbench in a graveyard biome and then combine a torch with three evil bars together. Next up, we have a fantastic quality of life item that, judging by my community post, hardly any of you knew was in the game the Chlorophyte Extractinator. Obviously, being an upgrade to the regular version, this machine will not only process ores astronomically faster, but will allow exchange of glowing moss of all kinds, and most importantly, convert any ore or bar on a whim. Literally, gone are the days of world exclusives. In a matter of seconds, you can convert all your hard mode ores into whatever you like. Oh, also a random side note, how many of you knew that fishing junk could be fed to the Extractinator for goodies? Genuinely didn't know about this till now. Oh, and when it comes to its crafting, all you need is 18 chlorophyte bars and an extractinator, and you're good to go. Finally for today, we have weirdly one of my most requested items to review, the Encumbering Stone. Being probably the most basic of today's picks, the item will quite simply prevent your character from picking up any items and can be toggled on and off with a right click. This can be extremely handy when mining, saving you bags of time you'd usually spend trashing a bunch of death and stone. When it comes to its obtainability, you're going to want to be scouring your underground desert for desert chests, and as someone who loses brain cells wading through this abysmal biome, I can't say I'm going to be going for it anytime soon. I'd love to hear how many of today's picks you already knew about, and if you think there are any more obscure items that should have made the list, let me know down below. This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.